And, uh, you know, if you're a fan of both uh, Quacker Factory, maybe Valerie Parr Hill, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, the home decor items coming in now feature <clears throat> vintage bird cages. Yes. It's something we all love, and uh, this is a beautiful embroidered rendition of that. I love all four different bird cage designs, all with pretty colorful birds inside and, and the flowers. So this is another favorite three-quarter sleeve t-shirt. Um, it's done in a scoop neck. So again, it doesn't cut off at the top like a crew neck. It allows you to have a little bit of area showing here for your necklaces if you yes. want to. But again, not too far, not plunging. And this uh, design is just beautiful. So we Absolutely. have it in two color choices for you and always a surprise on the shoulder. Isn't that beautiful? So Please there's another little birdie, birdie cage back here that in the back. That is just gorgeous. With a little pink birdie inside. Beautiful. And a little blue birdie on the top. I love it. Um, so this is uh, also available in navy, which is our light navy. So yes. it's more blue. Yes, more blue. And I love how we've, the, you know, our design team has done the gold stitching on the blue and the silver on the white just makes it just pop that much differently on each of the colors depending upon what it is that you like and as i had said earlier i did just get a few bird cages that i put on top of one of my mm -hmm. cabinets mm -hmm. and decor you know to decorate because it just adds interest it's fun if you don't have room to to, to go out and buy a few of these bird cages get the t-shirt yeah and so you can still be on trend but you'll be wearing it on your body instead of decorating it with your in your home look how oh pretty. i love so that look at pink can, can we get a close-up of the colors of the embroidery because i want you to see all the colors of pants you can wear with either one of these so we're talking about light pink fuchsia pink the aqua turquoise you could wear green uh, you could also wear light blue uh, these are really versatile mm -hmm. I would so, like to, you know, the turquoise. How pretty all these colors the pink. would look. I love the light pink with the white. Beautiful. And how about the navy with the with the fuchsia, pulling out the fuchsia. And there's green, flowers. there's green leaves oh, in beautiful. there too. So you could do green. So this is a great top. We're busy on the lines for this. Please keep an eye on your availability guide. We're starting to get changing color boxes here. So you have the beautiful, beautiful embroidery of the flowers, of the birds, of the bird cages. Mm -hmm. As then as you step into the scene and you look a little bit closer, you're also gonna notice different colors of rhinestones accenting the flowers. Yeah. Then of course that sprinkle of the sparkle and shine of the rhinestones throughout the rest of the design. And then of course the sparkles all the way around the neckline. And this is so, it's kind of like vintage. It's got that Victorian look to it. Very much. Uh, it's very feminine. I can yeah. see wearing like a fun floppy hat with this mm -hmm. and um, some a pretty little flowered skirt Absolutely. or something. Very girly and feminine. Maybe your, your pretty little flowered sandals with it with a pair of Beautiful. crop pants. Uh, and it's so spring-like like with the birds. I like your shoes yeah. with the dark indigo crop pant and the mm -hmm. white. Yeah, this is a great little outfit. Beautiful. And it's all cotton. So all cotton, it's very soft. breathable and soft. One thing we haven't talked about for this whole show is that our fabric is very high quality. Mm -hmm. Whether it's 95.5, whether it's 100% cotton, whether it's 60-40. Beefy, without being bulky, soft to the touch. It's going to drape over your, over your body beautifully. Three-quarter length sleeves on this side slits at the hem. I mean, Jean really, really wanted to make sure. And also in partnering with QVC, you have to have good quality. Oh, of course. You Absolutely. know, QVC insists on it. Jean, Quacker Factory, our Quacker Factory team, Tim insists on the amazing quality that we bring you. You know, they actually, in the, in the quality assurance department here at QVC, if they, if they get a, an item in and the fabric doesn't quite feel right to them, they actually punch a hole in the fabric and weigh it. Oh, wow. So that they are sure that we are giving our customer what they are expecting. Yeah, it's great quality control. It really, really is. Really great quality control. So, uh, Brian, are we talking to Jen? Or, or are we talking? Okay, so Jen's standing by, and she has another lovely quacker lady next to her in the audience. Hi, you guys. Wait, yeah, she's not just a quacker lady. She's one of my Facebook friends. Her name is Erica. Erica, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, came from New Jersey. And do you remember how we started our show? And we had uh, a young lady with uh, an item she had purchased back when Quacker Factory first started. Yes. Well, Erica is wearing yes. a Quacker piece with her own history and story behind it. Tell us about it. I lost my aunt about three years ago. And this was like a hand-me-down. So 
I figured I'd wear it. And it is comfortable, and I get lots of compliments on everything that I wear. Quacker. Aww, heirloom pieces. Wow. Yes. So, wonderful. So was your aunt a Quacker co collector as yes, well? Yes, she was. She got me started Quacker Aww. and also QVC. So. <laughs> so it's extra special to wear it because it was hers. Yeah. That's great. And I, I asked Erica, I said, you know, what is it about Quacker that you love? Because, of course, we were just talking about the quality of it. Right. But it's more than that. And what did you say? It's comfortable. It's I get lots of compliments on everything I wear. And it's, it's it a lot. It makes you feel happy. Yes, happy. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Very pretty. And again, speaking to the quality of the Quacker pieces, yes. some of the ladies here have had the pieces they're wearing for many years, and many, they still look many. great. That's right. Some so. ladies will write and say, I need my husband to build me another closet because I have so many pieces. Mm -hmm. We had a caller last night, Angel, I have four closets full of Quacker Factory. I mean, it, it, they are truly collectible pieces. The embroidery is outstanding. The designs are spectacular, and the quality is top notch. So uh, we have fewer than 900 of these left. Uh, both colors still available. Keep an eye on your availability guide. Um, I have a little quick story. Um, you know, I have many pets. And yes. so we, we have a room dedicated just to our parrots. Not par parents. They have a guest room. But <laughs> parrots. I have a bird room at my house. So um, somebody who no longer lives in the bird room who has passed away is Atticus Finch. Atticus Finch. Who was Atticus Finch was a house finch that fell out of a palm tree in front of our, when he was a baby, in front of our house in California. And he had a brother and a sister and th their nest fell down in a windstorm. Mm. So my neighbor, I was at work that day, my neighbor quickly gathered them up and put them in a shrubbery in front of my house. Well, their a mother shrubbery. couldn't find them. A shrubbery. A shrubbery. So hand me a shrubbery. Uh, so uh, anyway, yes, I am a Sorry. Monty Python yes. fan. Now you Sorry. got me started. I couldn't, I couldn't help hand myself. Me I'm sorry. Robbery. So anyway, um, long story short, too late. Uh, Atticus um, was the only survivor of the three. We hand fed them. What you do when a baby bird, if you can get a baby bird um, that falls out in, into your yard and the mother never comes back, whatnot, you give them um, wet dog kibble on the end of a little toothpick. Oh. And and try to get them to open their baby bird mouth. And as soon as they do, you're now mommy bird. Yeah. And whenever you come in the room, they need to be fed several times a day. So we did that, and he lived to be, gosh, four years old. Wow. He he rode with us all the way from Los Angeles to Philadelphia in a little traveling bird cage in the front seat of our SUV, in between the two seats, singing and singing. He was a little male bird. So yeah, he used to. He never wanted to fly away. We tried to let him out, and he liked uh, all the gourmet Slept, yeah. bird food he was getting at our house. What a ni what a nice so, memory. Yeah. Though. So so he was a little singer. So that's what this reminds me of. Right. You know. Our tops are not only about just bling or embroidery. They're about memories and taking you to places that you know that you forgot about. And this bird cage is a beautiful memory for you, Carolyn. Yeah. This is, thank you. Thank you. This is a popular top. If you'd like it, don't dilly dally because a lot of ladies are on the lines for this one. It's brand new today. All right, um, this top is how we started the show, our embroidered three-quarter sleeve keyhole t-shirt. We brought in over 4,000 of those. 